Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Buckley and I am a relationship and sex therapist. And I hear so often from so many people about how unhappy they are in their relationship or they are not able to get their partner to do the things that they want them to do. So there is something that you can do in your relationship or your relationships to get what you want. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So are you somebody that have talked to your partner over and over and over again and let them know what you're unhappy with or let them know what it is that they're doing wrong or what you want and they keep doing it or not doing it? Well, you're not alone. This is something I hear all the time. And you know, people come to me sort of at the end of their rope saying, I have done everything. I have asked a million times and I've talked about it over and over again and now I just decided to give up. It's like, you know, there was the point. It just doesn't work. My partner doesn't listen. They won't do what it is I want them to do. And sometimes they think about even ending a relationship because they are so frustrated. And you know what? Some relationships need to end, but you don't want to end a relationship prematurely. There are ways to get what you want by doing things differently. And really the best thing you can do is learn how to properly make a request. So sometimes when we're unhappy, we let our partner know what they're doing wrong. We let them know why we're unhappy. We complain, sometimes we make demands, sometimes we make ultimatums, and those don't work. Not in the long run anyways. And we don't really want our partner doing something because they're afraid that we're gonna leave them or that we're unhappy with them. And it just doesn't really motivate them. Generally, what really motivates people to make changes and to do the things that you want them to do is to let them know what makes you happy, what turns you on, what excites you. Let them know what you appreciate about them. Let them know all of the good things and the things that they can do that are going to make you happy. And the best way to do that is with the request. And to make an effective request, there are some guidelines. First of all, make it face to face. Make sure there are no distractions. So if your partner, especially if they're a man and they're watching TV or they're on their phone or their computer and you make that request, I'm gonna say they may hear, but they don't really hear what you're saying. So make sure it's at a time when there's no distractions, you can be face to face and let your partner know what you would like. Another guideline or ground rule is make it behavioral. So if you say, I want you to be more romantic, that's not specific or behavioral enough because they may think they know what that means or they may not, but not wanna say anything. You wanna let them know. So if you want your partner to be more romantic, let them know a specific behavior they could do that would feel romantic to you. Maybe it's, I would love it if you would plan a date for us and surprise me with a special outing or a special adventure that would be so cool. I would love that. So the more specific you are and the more behavioral, the chances are that it will happen. Now, if you want to go another level of specific, a really specific example would be something like, you know what, this Friday, I would love if you would plan a special date for us. Surprise me. Don't tell me where, but create something that could be really special. Maybe it's a special place that we've never been or a place that we have gone in the past, but I need some romance in my life and it would really make me happy. Specific is always gonna be better and always behavioral. Another thing that's important when you're making a request is not to be attached to the outcome. Your partner may say no and that's okay because you would rather get an occasional no than get the yeses that don't really mean anything. Right. Sometimes we have people in our life who say yes. Okay, sure, I can do that. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, no problem. And then what happens? Either they don't do it and then we feel really frustrated or they do it uh, but it's sort of from this place of resentment. They're doing it because they feel like they have to do it. So the no's are important. Being able to hear no is also important. So when your partner knows they can say no, ideally they're gonna say no, here's why, here's what I can do. That's always a good thing on the receiving end. You know what, I can't do that. Here's, I got something going on that night, but what I can do is I can plan it for the week after. Would that work? So oftentimes it's a conversation, but again, you're focusing on the positive. What makes you happy? What would you like? Now it might start with something that you're unhappy with, 
but turning it around and focusing on the specific behavior that your partner could do that would make you happy, making sure you have some face-to-face -face contact, you know, at a time that is appropriate, you know, at a time that is going to be more effective, not when you're exhausted at the end of the night, but maybe when you're sitting down and having dinner, again, no distractions, and just letting your partner know what it is that you want. The truth is we want to know what makes our partner happy. And men in particular love making their partners happy. They really do. And when they know what makes us happy and we express that when it's done, we want to reward good behavior, right? When they do something that we love, like really express that gratitude. But it's not just important for them to hear it, but for you to really feel it. And when you do that and you create a relationship where it is safe for both of you to ask for anything you want, knowing that there might be some no's, but the yeses, they're coming from a place of strength and love and they're specific so you can, for the most part, count on them happening, then your relationship is going to grow and it is going to make such a big difference rather than not saying anything at all, which really never works, you know? Well, he should know, she should know. No, they don't know even if we've told them many times. It's okay to ask, let them know what we want. Let them know what would make us happy. Let them know what turns you on and you will have a partner who does what you want, who gives you what you want. And yes, it would be great if they just knew, but again, people don't necessarily know even though you might think that they should. But when you can ask and they show up, you know, that's a great thing. And we can have the kind of relationship and the kind of partner that we want when we do that. So I want you to think about the things that maybe you're unhappy with, but think about more importantly, what would make you happy. Let your partner know specific behaviors. The more specific, the better. Face to face. Don't be attached to the outcome. They're allowed to say no. It's not always easy to hear no or even say no, but it's so important for this to work in the long run. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, you can have a great relationship. If you are enjoying these videos and finding them useful, please hit that subscribe button. Do that right now because I don't want you to miss anything. I want to help you have a great relationship, a great sex life, and a great life. So hit that subscribe button and if you're liking these videos, please hit that like button. I do appreciate it. It does help me and I really do want to help you. Find love, keep love, and cultivate love in your life and in your relationship. It's possible. It's just doing some things a little bit differently, sometimes a lot differently. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.